Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree makeup. I am so excited to film this. So as you can tell, I've already moisturized and primed my face and used eye cream. Unfortunately, I did not use Dollar Tree products because I could just not find any primer at my Dollar Tree or eye cream. But um, I'm so excited to show you. Like, I have high hopes. But first, I'm going in with the Ioni Perfect Brow um, Kit. And I've already used it as you can tell, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I actually bought it at the Dollar Tree before. But um, I'm using the darkest shade right there. Honestly, like I wish these were kind of darker because I have like dark hair as you can tell. And um, I still think that it's kind of a little too light for my eyebrows. And um, at the time when I bought this, I think this was the darkest shade. And honestly, it looked kind of deceiving because it looked like... It was going to be pretty dark but then when i try it like you can see it's it's not that dark of a brown not kind of how i would like it anyway <laughs> but um my first thoughts on this one is that it's okay like i think it's fine for me because i kind of already have enough eyebrows and so i just need something to kind of fill it in give it a little bit more of a filled in natural look but if i had like less eyebrows i wouldn't think of this as like an eyebrow pencil for a dollar, it works good, but I feel like at the drugstore, if you just pay a few bucks more, even if you get like the Wet n Wild um, eye pencil for like three bucks, I feel like you can get pretty good filled in eyebrows. But um, for this one, for a dollar, it's not bad. And um, honestly, it was worth a try for me. And it's pretty good for when you need like touch ups on your eyebrow or maybe. Uh, you just you maybe went in with a little bit of brow gel but you needed a little bit of a fill in in one spot like that's what I would use this for and I've used it a couple times like that but um I think like it's pretty good like I like it but it's not my favorite so I guess it's okay and um maybe part of that is because of the color like I just wish it was a little darker or they had a darker one maybe they do and I just haven't found it but um as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that both of my eyebrows are even, and I'm going in with a spoolie. And the one that I'm using is actually one from Shop Masse. I got it online for a dollar something, so I mean, if you're looking for cheap makeup brushes that are actually quality, go look on Shop Masse, because they're good. But here's the finished look, and um, now I'm trying their liquid makeup. I thought this was like foundation. So um, I'm going to use this on my face, but I'm also going to use it to kind of carve out and uh, define my eyebrows. And I was like nervous about this one. As you can see, it's kind of whipped. It's not liquidy. I was expecting it to be kind of liquidy. But um, I just grabbed a little bit because I didn't know how much like pigment, if it was going to be really pigmented or what. But um... When I put it on, at first it looks that way, but then it doesn't really give, like, coverage. It, you know, it was good for carving out my brow and stuff and making it more defined, but it didn't really cover, like, much, so to say. But, um, if you like a really natural look, like, you look like you don't have anything on your face, I would say that this might be worth a try for you. But, um, for me, I do like a little more coverage. There are days, like, when I do really natural makeup, I like, I like a light coverage. But, mostly when I wear makeup, I like a little more skin coverage. But I don't like it to look heavy. <laughs> but, um, it did pretty good, like, carving my brow out. Like, I think this is actually a good product to use for, um, kind of carving your brows out, like, with a natural look making it look natural and the shade match was actually pretty good for my skin like look it, it blended right in and there we go on the other eyebrow we're doing that one but I was kind of impressed like I was happy that I chose the right shade because I was afraid it was going to be either too dark or um that it would like oxidize <laughs> and make my skin orange but it did not oxidize actually and um, my skin did not turn orange I didn't look like an oompa loompa but um I out this one like I liked it for carving out my brows And 
Um, I just go in at the top too to kind of try to make it also a little more defined. Maybe clean up some lines and try to make it look even. But um, it looks like it blends in like naturally with my skin. It almost reminded me of a tinted moisturizer. Like that's what I would think more of this liquid foundation was more of a tinted moisturizer. So, but also unfortunately in this video, I was not able to find a concealer. So I had to use one that I already had at home. My Dollar Tree did not have any concealers, but um, now I'm actually gonna go in with that uh, liquid makeup, <laughs> as it said, on my face. And I'm just taking out my wet beauty blender and um, I'm just dabbing it on. And at this point, I didn't know what I was dealing with, but as you can see, like, it doesn't look like I really put anything on my skin, so I went back in with more. And, like, it didn't give me any coverage, but it did cover up my redness, as you guys can see, like, sort of. Um, I guess it looked like it kind of evened my skin tone, but it really wasn't giving me coverage like I wanted. So, um, I'm going in and, like, putting some more on my uh on the back of my hand so that way i can uh, try and get the most coverage out of this and see what we'll work with i went in with like three pumps on this time <laughs> so but um my thoughts on this is like it's okay it kind of makes like my skin like the makeup like when i put too much it looked kind of cakey to me like it looked like I had a lot of makeup on it's weird like I had a lot on but it wasn't giving me coverage like yeah but um I think though that it's all right like it's not one that I would reach for really I liked it more for the brows but like you can still see some of my real skin like peeking through or like I don't know it just wasn't giving me coverage it didn't look like it was spreading even so um, I had went in with a second layer and now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Unfortunately, this was not at the Dollar Tree, but I thought, hey, this might be able to save my foundation and give me a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going in under the under eye, under the nose, on the chin, and on the forehead. Just the main areas where I feel like I could spread out the coverage. And um, taking that same beauty blender and just blending it out. This is not too expensive, this concealer. Like, you can buy it at Walmart or any drugstore for, like, six dollars, five or six dollars. But, um, honestly, like, look at that. Look at the difference that it made. Oh, and I was gonna go in with that powder, but then I remembered that, um, I had actually bought one at the Dollar Tree. So, um, I was excited to try this pressed powder, because, like, I've seen this time and time again at the Dollar Tree, but I've never used it. <laughs> And as you can tell, I don't use the powder puffs that come with it. It was like styrofoam. It was weird. <laughs> but um, I'm going in with another brush from Shop Mousse. And um, just going to powder in my face. This is a powder foundation, so I expected it to give me a little bit more coverage. Um, so I went ahead and did it first on my eyes just to powder them. But um, when I had like finished applying all of this, I noticed that it did make my makeup look heavy. Like... I haven't gone for like a heavy makeup look in a long time and like you could definitely tell like I was wearing heavy makeup and uh, it kind of did feel like it but um, I would reach for this if like um, let's say I just put on concealer and like um, I just wanted a little more coverage but when I wear like foundation or something like or like how I was I felt like it made it look heavy and like a little cakey but the like the powder was actually really good itself like i'm excited to try it with my actual makeup routine and like uh the maybelline foundation that i use for everyday use i think like it would actually look pretty good usually the powder i use is another maybelline like loose powder but um this one like i feel like this pressed powder would be pretty good you could even use it without putting on foundation like i think it would give you some coverage without it but, um, look, like, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like, Dollar Tree giving some coverage with that. Like, that's pretty nice. And, um, the shade that I used was the color Nude. But, um, I liked it. Like, I think we kind of saved the foundation, so to say. And that powder really helped. But, um, next, I'm going in with this powder blush. 
but um honestly when i looked at it and saw the color i thought immediately that could be a bronzer like could kind of give me a little bit of contour and warm up my skin and look at that like it is pigmented i actually really like this like i think this might be something that i might start buying at the dollar tree especially when summertime comes like just use a little bit i used a lot but <laughs> Like, look at that. Dollar Tree has some hidden gems, I think. That bronzer is pretty good. Um, and I like it. I like the glow it gives. Like, at first, it was really, really red, I felt like. Like, when I first put it on, but then the more I blend it out, it looked a little more, like, glowy and not as red. They did have different shades, but I wanted to go for the darkest one because I wasn't sure if it was going to be pigmented or not. And um, I wanted to get one that would show up on camera <laughs> and look good for you guys. But um, I actually really like it. And honestly, like my products blended nicely on top of that like powder. I feel like none of the coverage got taken away. And um, like it's starting to look nice and like my skin like kind of looks smooth. But um, it still looks heavy as you can see. Like it looks like I... I definitely have on several layers of makeup, but look at that. Now we're contouring the chin, we're bronzing it also, getting rid of that double chin. <laughs> yeah. And there's me, I also did my nose and everything, and it just looks nice. So this blush that I'm using, actually I bought it at the Dollar Tree, but I use it regularly. And um, if you find it, like look at it, it's so pretty. It's like a fuchsia pink color. Uh, it's just like a fuchsia and it's really pigmented like I like kind of a strong blush look but don't worry I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna blend it all together we're kind of working on it now but I'll add like a I'll go back in with like that little bit of that um, foundation powder brush and we'll just kind of blend it but look at that see like Dollar Tree really does like I feel like it has some products that are really slept on like that blush is so pretty. I can't remember where, like, what it was by or who the brand was, but it was really nice. <laughs> and, um, I like it a little bit better than even some of the drugstore ones. Like, I have Milani blushes and I love those, but I feel like they fade over time as to where, like, that pink one, it's so pigmented, like, it stays on. <laughs> but, um, next, we're reaching in the bag. We're going for, I think we're going for eyeshadow. <laughs> but, um... I couldn't find a highlighter at the Dollar Tree, unfortunately. The one that I went to, they did have some, but they were a little too dark for me. So, um, yeah, I wasn't able to get a highlighter there. But um, I'm excited to try this nude glam eyeshadow because these colors look really pretty. And, like, it looked like they would be good colors for fall and, like, Thanksgiving coming up. And so um, the palette that I got was nude glam eyeshadow. So uh, I'm reaching for another Shop Miss A eyeshadow brush. I am not sponsored by them, by the way. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna go in with it. We're gonna start off underneath the brow bone. And um, I'm uh, grabbing that white shade right there, or vanilla. And um, I'm just gonna put it underneath the brow bone. Like, it's not the most pigmented white color but it does give some like look it's giving something it is if i had to rate this palette like one out of ten i would rate it a six like like it's not that bad like but like the colors are there and they show up but i found that it was a little hard to kind of blend them especially with this next one that i was gonna that i'm going in with it's just like a light brown crease shade but um See, it's like, it's definitely, look, it's gave pigment, like, do you see that? But, as I blend, it's kind of a little hard to blend, it felt really chalky, but it's nice, like, it's not bad. I've definitely had other worse eyeshadows, and I feel like for an everyday look, or an everyday person, that this would be pretty good, like, especially for those days you're like, ah, like, I just want to throw on something quick, like, just reach for this one. <laughs> 
look at that see it's not bad at all but i just felt like i had a little trouble blending it i think on this next eye is where i kind of really had the most trouble yeah but um see like it's just that top line is just not wanting to blend like i felt like i had to work with it like really kind of go in there but we get there eventually, like we we blend it out and um, I kind of have to pack on a little bit more color, but um, we get there. I like it though, like it's pretty. I would definitely say though, like buy this eyeshadow palette, like I mean if you're going to have an essentials from Dollar Tree, maybe like this one could be added to your list because um, this one is not bad at all like it it works pretty nicely but still it's just a little bit of that blending like look it takes a little bit of work with this one but it's there it's there and i like the colors a whole lot but i will say though the crease color is okay but the pigmented like the the sparkly colors oh my gosh that's what makes the palette like it it makes it well worth a dollar like those ones are so shiny and so colorful i feel like they're the kinds that you could buy at the drugstore because like they're so pigmented that like it feels like it comes from somewhere else <laughs> see like this one right here i'm just gonna use my finger and just go in with it on my eyelid because that's all like i'm just putting it there and look at that like look at that golden sparkliness the pigment is there and it kind of looks a little bit like a foiled shadow from here but i promise you it's really more sparkly but um i actually i love this gold color like i'm a huge fan though of like browns and gold and kind of warmer color eyeshadows so i was really excited about this and i'm keeping this palette like this one because of this gold shade and the other one too as well the other gold i haven't tried the other one yet but i imagine that it's just as good as this one <laughs> but look at that like it's giving us something look okay now i'm gonna try to get rid of some of that cakiness on my face and i'm going in with my milani um setting spray and um i'm having to use the siva protege like for highlight because i wasn't to find a highlight for me at the Dollar Tree <laughs> but um I just kind of went for a little natural glow I didn't put on like too much highlighter and then put a little down the nose I like this gold one it's actually really pretty and I think it matches the eyeshadow look and now I'm going in with my uh, uh, mascara but it wasn't from the Dollar Tree unfortunately now this is the Ioni lash glue and um, I'm excited to try this um it's like the lash glue liner and like i've always seen these all over tiktok and everything and then the ioni lashes now i know that i love these ioni lashes like i get them all the time but um the lash glue like i was excited to see whether like it stayed and um how pigmented it was and look at that like this is pretty nice it kind of was hard to make a straight line like without it kind of getting like i don't know kind of uneven or like a smearing so to say but um it felt like a good liner my lashes were sticking together maybe i should have put on mascara last but um i guess that really didn't matter because we were gonna go over them with lashes anyways but i was doing a winged liner and this eyeliner guys like the lash glue liner eyeliner please get it it is so good <laughs> like my lashes actually stuck to it and and like when i try to pull them apart like it's not coming off like it's it's really good i have to give them a little more than a pull like i actually have to try and take them off but um see like it's really pigmented actually like i'm just trying to even out the line and stuff now make it look a little bit more neater but um i really like it this one is meant for your eyelashes like you'll stick your eyelashes on them afterward and the eyelashes are supposed to stick so yeah and 
them. Look at that line. Like, that was pretty nice. And now I'm just going in to put on the eyelashes. So I'm excited. This is the part where I'm excited to see if they'll stick on there or not. So here we go. And they honestly, like I said before, they did. They stayed on there and like, I, I loved this eyeshadow look. Like, I love the colors of this. Yeah, like look at that. Get these lashes. Like anytime you're at the Dollar Tree and you get these la like you see these lashes, buy them because they always run out and you can't guarantee that they'll be there next time. Like look. They're so pretty and so cute. Like and I feel like the liner looks really good. You could honestly do a natural one. I was also excited to try like this jelly lip gloss. I didn't know what to expect out of it because like I was like jelly, jelly lip gloss, like is it going to be really pigmented or have some sort of pigment? But you can see the applicator, it's like a fuzzy doe foot applicator and it looks really pigmented so like look, it's nice, it feels really like moisturizing and it smells delicious. It smells like a fruit cake, like it smells like grandma's fresh apple tree like it smells really good <laughs> but um, I like it it's actually shimmery too I think like I'm gonna try to find a different color in this one um, but yeah it almost reminded me like of those peel off lip colors if you got one of those but they were kind of shiny like uh, look at that it's really pretty I know they had some pink ones, so I'm going to definitely try the pink one next. <laughs> I'm going to get that one there, but I loved it. Like, look at this face. Like, I think that our face came together well for being a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Like, all of these products, they do not look bad. And, like, honestly, I think you can make it work, you know? And, like, it looks a little heavy. Like, you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but um, it looks nice and, like... I enjoyed filming this for you guys and like trying out these products and I hope that you guys like are able to try something from here and um, give me your thoughts and feedback on what you think and have you ever tried any of the Dollar Tree makeup and what's your favorite? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!